Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how you can export and import virtual machines from one Hyper-V host to another. So, when do you export or import a virtual machine? Well, one use case is when you want to migrate virtual machines from one host to another host and when there is no infrastructure set up to perform something like a live migration. For example, you may have two standalone Hyper-V hosts with no cluster setup or live migration setup and let's say you want to move some VMs from one host to another host then you can simply use import and export option in Hyper-V and it can also be used when you're upgrading your Hyper-V environment from Windows Server 2008 R2 to Windows Server 2012 and let's say if you don't want to perform an in-place upgrade so if that is the case, you can export the virtual machines running on Windows Server 2008 R2 Hyper-V host and import the virtual machine on Windows Server 2012 Hyper-V host. Now it is also useful if you want to deploy virtual machines using a template. For this you need to select a folder which contains the files of a virtual machines and if you want to use that virtual machine as a template then using the import virtual machine wizard you can deploy a new virtual machine so exporting a virtual machine will basically stores all the files of virtual machines such as configuration files snapshots virtual hard disks and smart paging files into a single folder which can be then used to import the virtual machine and you can also select multiple virtual machines to export. And while importing the virtual machines, it will check if that virtual machine can get the same configuration on the destination host as well. So if you have a virtual switch called switch1 on the source Hyper-V host, and if that virtual switch is not available on the destination host, then the wizard will prompt you to select a different switch. Another thing is that you don't need to use import and export option to move your virtual machines from one host to another host. You can simply copy the virtual machine files to the host where you want to register the virtual machine. Also starting from Windows Server 2012 R2, you don't have to shut down the VM to export it, which was the case in the earlier version of Hyper-V. Alright, so in this demo, I'm going to export a VM called Server 2003 running on Hyper-V 01 and import it into another host Hyper-V 02. Now before you start export and import, I would recommend few things. First, shut down the VM if possible because we want to stop the I.O. and it is also done to ensure that the latest copy of the virtual machine will be running on the destination host. So I'm going to shut down this. I'll right click and I'll say shut down. Now second thing I would recommend is to clear any snapshots, checkpoints. Clearing the checkpoints means you'll have less disks to export and import which also means faster export and import. In my case you can see I don't have any checkpoints. Now you also need to check if the VM can get the available compute resource on the destination host, the CPU and the memory. So if you go into settings, the memory that I've assigned is a 128 MB with no dynamic memory. It's just a 1V CPU. And you also need to check if enough storage is available on the destination host. In my case, uh, this VM has only one VHD. Actually, it's a VHDX. And the size of the virtual hard disk is just 10 GB. And I know that I have enough storage on my destination host. One final thing you need to check is the network. You need to check if the appropriate VLANs are available on the destination host. In my case, I'm good with the network, so I'm going to cancel this. All right, I'm in Hyper-V Manager on the source host, which is Hyper-V01. And I can see my virtual machine, server 2003, which I want to export. I'm going to right click on it and I'll click export. Now you need to specify the path where you want to save your virtual machines. In my case, I will select the local C drive and I'll click export. 
Now you can see the status and the progress of the export. And for some reason, if you want to cancel the export, you have an option to cancel the export, which is cancel exporting. Okay, just saw that the export was succeeded. Now, if I open up my C drive, I can see a folder which is having the name of my virtual machine. So if I open up, you can see all virtual machine files are in one single directory, the snapshots, the virtual hard disks, and the virtual machine configuration files. Next, we are going to import this virtual machine into another Hyper-V host, Hyper-V02. I've already logged into Hyper-V02, so I'll open up Hyper-V Manager. And on the left side, I'll click on Import Virtual Machine. I'll click Next. I will click Browse. And I'll select the path which has the virtual machine files. So that should be Hyper-V 01C$ Dollar Server 2003. All right. I'll click Select Folder. I'll click Next. You can see that there is only one virtual machine stored in that folder. So I'll select it and I'll click Next. Now you need to select the import type. You have three options to select. The first option is register the virtual machine in place. Use the existing unique ID. Now what this option will do is it will simply register the virtual machine on the new host on Hyper-V02 with the existing unique ID of the virtual machine and the storage location will be still be same. So in my case, the storage location will be Hyper-V01 C drive server 2003. Now the second option, which is restore the virtual machine, use the existing unique ID. Now this option will allow you to use the same existing ID, but it will allow you to save the virtual machine files such as checkpoints, configuration files, smart paging files, and virtual hard disks on a different location. So I have my virtual machine files still on Hyper-V01. So if I want to move uh, to a location which is accessed by Hyper-V02, I can use this option. Now the third option is copy the virtual machine, create a new unique ID. This option will use the source file as a template and allow you to create a new virtual machine with new unique ID and you can store the new virtual machine into a different location. So for example, if I want to use my server 2003 as a template and deploy a new virtual machine using a new unique ID, then I can select this option. In my case, I will select the second option which is restore the virtual machine, use the existing unique ID. So I want to restore the virtual machine on Hyper-V02 and at the same time I want to copy the virtual machine files which is accessible to Hyper-V02. So I'm going to click next. All right now you'll get an option to select a folder where you want to save your configuration folder, your checkpoint store and your smart paging folder. So I'm going to check this option and in my case I will select the C drive and I'll create a new folder and I'll name this as server 2003. All right, so I'm going to specify the same path for checkpoint store and for smart paging folder and I'll click next. And to store my virtual hard disks, I'll specify the same path which is C drive server 2003. I'll click next. And now you can review the summary and I'll click finish. So now you can see it's copying the virtual machine files. All right, so it has been imported. So if I go into the C drive of Hyper-V02, I can see server 2003 and I can see the hard drive, server 2003 VHDX and the configuration files. Okay, so this looks good. So let me power on the virtual machine. I'll click start. Open the console. Okay, I can see. Okay, I'm at the login screen. Okay, let me see if I can log in. Okay, I was able to log in.
And if I click settings of the virtual machine, I can see the RAM, which is still the same, 128 meg, the processor, which is one, and you can see server 2003 is on the C drive of Hyper-V02. Okay, so this looks good. Um, one last thing you may need to do is to update the integration services of the VM. Sometimes there may be an update available for the VM when it is uh, running on the destination host. In my case, you can see there is no update available for integration services. And by the way, you can go ahead and delete the original VM, which is still stored and registered on Hyper-V01. Uh, so you can go ahead and uh, say delete if everything is good with the VM, which is running on the destination host. So I'll click delete and I'll say delete. Okay, so this is how you export and import virtual machines in Windows Server 2012 R2. I hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to my channel.